Okay, so in this video I'm going to be going over the Worlds Adrift grappling hook that I had in a previous video, which honestly I was a little surprised to see that it even got as many views as it did, considering I've never done anything to really, you know, advertise my channel's existence. So not many people ever knew about it aside from people who I knew, like, personally. So it is kind of nice to see that at least one of the videos kind of started taking off on the channel and that people are actually out there seeing some things. So there are a few things that have changed in my project since I last looked at it, um, in YouTube at least. It's been a long time since I've opened the file for this. I've moved houses and I've also been working an awful lot, so I haven't really had a lot of time with Unreal Engine for a while. But this is a demonstration of the update. I will explain the rope as best as I can. I will just head up here real quick. So there are of course a few changes and I have a lot of print screen or print strings going on. Please just bear no mind with that. I'm in the middle of like fixing a lot of different things that were going wrong if I recall. So what happens is if you hold down right click you enter this aiming mode and basically this is just enabling the mouse cursor and allowing you to pick a point and the character kind of gravitating their body towards the mouse cursor there's nothing really significant about this but then when you let go it fires the bullet that is the grappling hook and the grappling hook is given a maximum rope value into its variables um, i have it set to 5,000 units so I can go about 5,000 units away from this thing if I zoom or reel it all the way out. After that, I would start having some trouble. This is, I guess, not 5,000. And I could start reeling myself in as well, which lowers that value or how much rope there currently is. So there's a bunch of minor variables involved. Those are all floats. Now, when people look at the grappling hook, situation with worlds drift and a lot of like tutorials on youtube i've noticed they all seem to be the same type of grappling hook that a lot of people aren't necessarily looking for and that's the one where you kind of just fire straight at a point and then your character sort of like mindlessly gets pulled into it sort of like a widow maker from overwatch style grappling hook now how this works because having all these points can seem like a lot and it can be a bit overwhelming all at once, is your character actually only cares about one or two locations the entire time. So as you can see, I have my character and this rope just connected to that anchor point, which was the one that I fired. Now if I fall, I'll start swinging around it, and you'll see now that I'm drawing that debug sphere. That sphere is the new point that my character begins swinging around as you can visually see. Now the reason why that happens is because my character can no longer successfully do a line trace to the original anchor point. There's something obstructing it and it gets that point of obstruction and it makes it the new point. If I can trace to that current point as well as the previous one both at the same time that's when that point gets deleted and I'm back to here. So if I have one point, I'll go around it and back to there. Now there were some extra things that needed to be done for this. I had to create some variables to make sure that the distance between the two points were at least significant enough. Otherwise I would accumulate about 5,000 points constantly because my character is just on, on the corner and it, things aren't pixel perfect or something, so it would complain. So I need to get a distance of about 45 units between the two points before it can create another one, which is not that big of a distance, but it's enough to give it a bit of a resistance against having a bunch of mindless points for no reason. As you can see, in this case, the calculation seems to not be enough the distance is too great and I'm not getting the points needed for a smooth rotation. So 45 may be a bit too much because I know the distance or is uh, 45 units. I could set it to something lower like 10 or 15. When I press spacebar mid grapple, I get a velocity boost much like in the game.
and when I'm grappling an airborne, the camera knows to zoom out as such, which kind of allows you to see your environment and mobilize a bit better. When you're not doing that, you have a more close to your character kind of personalized feel, much like in the game itself. Now, the animation aspect, I wish that I had a lot more work on that because clearly these animations don't hold up compared to that of the actual game itself. Uh, but I've never been known for animation blueprinting or, you know, graphic designing. I'm more of uh, the developer aspect and getting the functionality of things. Speaking of functionality, I've added a few new things since the last time. Um, these are like the boats of World of Drift, or the ships, whatever you'd like to call them. Now they're very unclean. As you can see, they're very basic shapes. You can kind of tell that's a wing there, and these are actually engines, believe it or not, these cubes. So my ships are actually, each individual piece is attached to the ship, much like they are in the game. Each piece has its own values, much like they do in the game and the ship takes all of those values together to determine its final stats. So if something were to go wrong, like this piece were to fall off, then this ship would actually move slower because it lost an engine. Uh, I can actually use this slower one for the sake of uh, testing it because the slower one's just easier to use. If I head over to this cube here, which is actually a um, like docking station, much like they had in the game, if I move slow enough, it'll park. And after a bit, it creates that sphere. Um, the sphere is not double-sided yet, and it doesn't do um, physics behavior, so it doesn't actually do its job. But I should be able to, if I recall, interact with these and start ripping them off. the ship, which isn't necessarily the brightest decision, but I'll do it anyway. I'll rip off all the wings and I'll leave just the one engine. Or actually, I guess I have three, so maybe I'll rip off another. I'm pretty sure that's gone. It's just not removing itself because the physics are just working in its favor. Anyhow, I'll hop on and I'll just start driving it away. You know, you can hop off and just mind your own business. The sphere will go away and all my parts are now left on the floor. And my maximum speed is 300 units now. So there's like 100 units of speed per engine. And I guess this one survived the, uh, the ripping off. So I must have missed it. And now my turning is complete garbage because I don't have anything to assist me with that. So could be a while now of course these are not configured very well they're not at all accurate to the way that they are in worlds of drift so the controls are probably not very well balanced nor are the um the stats of anything it's just mostly again the proof of concept but i was able to fix up the grappling hooks one of its errors at least this is a good example of some of the errors that it has. When it comes to moving parts, it has a hard time. Now what's happening is it's, why does it randomly mirror like that? Is because the ship is rotated about 180 degrees from its original orientation and it hasn't figured that out yet. So it doesn't work right here. Now it does work accurately once it has the point but when it comes to creating the point, it just doesn't seem to do the best job. So that's something that I need to fix in the future as well. Uh, the many things are still, of course, in development, but the rudimentary concept of how it works is all there. Configuring the variables and getting a more polished feel is, of course, the thing that needs to remain. And it's definitely not something that I would say is shippable because it's very very bug heavy right now and until those bugs are taken care of it's just simply not ideal to even have any form of testing for it 
Now, as you can see, this one has a speed of 18,000. It says negative 18,000 because of the way I have everything set up. So the engines are comprised of different values on this ship, or I just have a lot of them, I'm not sure which. And I put another wing model on there just for fun. And my character also has some interesting behavior when using a grapple hook while in flight. They seem to have issues with the velocity that they obtain. But yeah, you can stand on the wings and still be on your merry way, just like you could in the game traveling around and just like in the game you also can have a very hard time staying on your ship because it'll just knock you on your ass for no reason it seems so going into the blueprints as quickly as I can because it's it's a giant mess and I'm trying to summarize and keep the video short as much as I can um, this is just grapple reeling Pressing shift and control will change the current rope compared to how much you are allowed to have. It limits you between having no rope and having the maximum you're allowed. Uh, the grappling hook, which is a giant mess, it calculates like if it hits something and then it, it handles all of the, the tracing. So in the lamest way of saying it, it calculates the total distance that you have and it subtracts all the distance from all of the points that it hit. That way, if you have 5,000 length and you had one one thing in the way at 500 points, then your remaining is 4,500. So you don't just have 5,000 for every single point along the way. Um, if it does, um, if it does obstruct something, or no, this is not if it obstructs something. This is if it has any points that aren't the anchor itself. If it doesn't, then it just does a calculation for the anchor. If it does, it checks if you hit something. If you did, then it'll add another point because there's something obstructing you from your latest point. If you did not, then it does it again with the point before that. And if that doesn't either, then it removes a point. And I have an array of the vectors and the lengths that these vectors were at or the distances between, because I calculate my distance here and I get that. I limit it so that, again, 45 units, which I should set that as a variable so it's easier to modify, but currently I don't. Uh, these are just the cable components that add the visual cable, which is a pretty buggy thing. Cable components are probably not the best way to do it. Um, and that's, that's pretty much the entire process of this. And... Then I have the actual grappling hook itself, which gets your character or whoever's holding it, and it calculates their velocity, and if they've extended or hit the, the limitation of their ropes, it gets the dot product of that velocity as well as the anchor point and the actor's location, and it normalizes that. So what it does is it basically gives you an equal amount of force in the opposite direction to create that swinging effect instead of allowing your character to continue falling it holds them up much like a rope would now you may have noticed i went between three blueprints for this uh my character is just my character um there are some things that i'm trying to move to the actor component which are means this thing here the grappling hook itself and the reason I'm doing that, and the reason why this seems like a lot of code, is because the grappling hook is actually handling pretty much all of the behavior, but it has to get a lot of information from my character's character movement and other like main variables you would receive on any character at all, hence the character reference here. Now, why that is significant though, is because an actor component just a crash course on that is like um, a DLC for your character. So I can make another character at any moment that's like, let's say it's a car or a tank or whatever. And if I just slap this on here, then all of a sudden it has pretty much the full functionality of the Worlds Adrift grappling hook. Just from having that component on there at all. Which can be very helpful if you wanted to do something quickly or remove the character's ability of having a grappling hook very easily. That about summarizes everything. 
Um, if I can go over things in more detail later if there's any more questions. But for now, I'm trying to keep the video as short as possible while still covering everything to at least a fair level. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for that comment. I appreciate that a lot. And uh, hopefully this helps. Again, feel free to continue commenting if there's anything else that you need. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to continue updating this project and show uh, off some new findings and updates. Until then, I'll catch you later. Thank you.